Peggy 3. Welcome back to the latest developer diary for F1 2010. So the first stage in creating a car and game is to collect all the reference. Uh, we get basic CAD data from the teams and we supplement that with photography and livery packs. Stage two is basically all about importing the CAD and building the 3D mesh. So the end result is a very detailed wireframe 3D render of the car. The next stage is all about texture in the model, so essentially painting the car. Uh, for that we create a, a decal sheet with all the areas of the car laid out on it and this is effectively pasted onto the mesh model which creates a car that looks as close as possible to the real thing. Each of the cars handles slightly differently. So if you're playing in a Red Bull or HRT, you can actually feel the differences come through. Audio obviously plays a massive part in any game, but particularly in F1. One of the most important aspects from an audio point of view has got to be the sound of the car. We've been working with some of the manufacturers and teams who have been helping us get access to their vehicles to allow us to record these sounds. Creating the tracks for Formula 1 2010 is an amazing challenge really because you can assume that the, the people playing the game are the most knowledgeable people out there. You're getting fantastic access to, to materials. We get as up-to-date CAD as we can achieve. We've got fantastic photo reference. So there's a lot of emphasis goes into making sure that this track feels like it's embedded in a bigger landscape. So obviously driving the real world circuits enables me to give that impression to the guys creating the game and there's all these details that only the driver would know about. So for instance, Turn 8 in Spa, I know straight away any car I've ever driven there always understeers and it's knowing that kind of detail as a driver that you can get over into the game as well. Uh, we're making a big push for the atmosphere in this game. It's practice, fewer people are turning up, qualifying starts to get busy, race day is absolutely packed. You want to experience that track as though you're driving around it in a real world situation, making you feel like you're there. circuits feel really spot on so it's, it's good to see.